It's your boy High Five Vega back again, and today I'm going to show you a quick, simple build on a 16 amp hour headway battery bank. This is a video for beginners, so if you're worried about putting your bank together and you want to see exactly how it goes together, this is the video for you. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, let's go over a few things you're going to need to have and what you're going to need to do to assemble your bank. We'll start with the work surface. I like to use a work surface that's non-conductive. This is a wood top, so we're good to work on that. It's something that a lot of people don't think about, but when you're working with something that has so much energy density, you really need to be careful with what you're doing. Along with that, I like to use an electrician screwdriver. If you have one of these or an insulated screwdriver, it's just an extra precaution you can take so that when you are assembling your battery pack, if you accidentally drop the screwdriver, you're not gonna have an arc. You're only conductive right at the tip. Another thing you're gonna need is a decent voltmeter, something that you can read voltages. Definitely have to have a voltmeter when you're doing any kind of work like this. And obviously, you're gonna need some sort of bus bar system like this, or you're gonna need some kind of holders with separate bus bars or bus bars that you build yourself and if you want to build your own bus bars brad has already done a video of that i'll link that in the video description below so you can check that out before we start assembly on this pack a few things you want to do is just visually inspect it and then top balance it so i'll start with the visual inspection you basically just want to make sure that the cell is okay not damaged in any way no gouges in the outside you also want to make sure that the threads and everything is in good shape. You don't want anything cross-threaded or any damage up here. And I've already visually inspected the rest of these cells and they're all in really good shape. These are used cells, so that's a very important step when you're buying used cells to check them, make sure everything's in tip-top shape. As for top balancing, all that is is connecting every positive to every negative on every cell. That way, they all balance each other out. I've already done this. But if you haven't, then what you're going to do is grab your voltmeter and check every single cell to make sure that you are within, you know, 0.01 volts. So we're 3.4 on this one, 3.39 on this one, 3.4 on this one, 3.4 on that one. So all these cells are good to go. I'll jump to a clip on how I actually top balance these. You can do it many different ways, but the moral of the story is you need every positive and every negative on every cell to be hooked up. Top balancing is very easy. There are many different ways to do it. I'll show you how I decided to do it this way, but basically all you need to do is hook every positive and every negative in parallel, hook them all together, let them balance themselves out. You can do this by laying them all eight flat and hooking metal bars all the way across. In my case, I decided to just use the bars I had with some jumpers. And remember, this is top balancing, so you're not going to be carrying a ton of current. Small little jumpers like this will work just fine. So all the negatives are on this side, all the positives are on this side. And if I turn the battery around, you can see that I have two jumpers because, you know, this is the negative and the positive post. So I need to jump those and jump across. When we check our voltage, we should be the same everywhere we check because we have jumped across. So this doesn't take long. I leave it for, you know, at least 10, 15 minutes, and then you can go back and check your individual voltages again to see how good they are. We're done with the top balance here, so we're gonna quickly check the cells out and make sure that they're all, you know, within 0.1. Looking good. Now let's talk about pack assembly. There are several different ways you can do this. There are companies that offer pre-made bus bars. You can build your own bus bars. You can use these small orange holders and they have factory straps that are actually kind of hard to find for these. So once you choose the method that you're gonna use, you need to figure out which screws you're gonna use. If you're using these stock headway bus bars, the stock screws that come with the headway will work just fine. If, on the other hand, you are building your own bus bars, you're going to have to get yourself a longer M6 bolt to fit the uh, thicker material that you're probably going to use. Now let's check out the method I decided to use. This is a 16 amp hour bank. I have eight cells here. I went with the Project DB bus bars. 
Now, these bus bars come in at $70. I think that's a fantastic value because not only do you get the nice milled out bus bars themselves, but you also get every piece of hardware that you need to connect them, the longer bolts. You don't have to think about it at all. And in my opinion, that's $70 well spent. If you buy brand new cells and buy $70 bus bars, you'll be in this battery under 250 for a 16 amp hour headway bank. Now let's talk about the actual assembly of the battery itself. What we're gonna be running here is a 4S 2P setup. What that means is we're gonna have four cells in series and then we're gonna parallel one bank of four to the next. So that's four series, two banks parallel. As far as assembly goes, I've got my banks top balanced. I've got all the bolts that I need laid out to the side and I'm ready to put it all together. If you're a beginner, don't worry about it. This is very simple and easy to hook up. Let's get to it here. We're gonna start, it doesn't matter which way you do this, positive or negative, but we need two of them to be the same. So we're gonna start by just screwing one down. Now I assume that there's a torque spec on this, but I could not find it. So what I'm doing is just giving it a nice firm tighten. Do not over tighten these. Just hand tighten them with a screwdriver. That'll be plenty. Let's add our next cell here. Same thing. Two negatives, two positives. Now when we start our next one, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna have a negative here. Hand tighten it the same exact way. Repeat that process again. We've got one bank half assembled. All right, now we're gonna start on our other bank, much the same way. We've got everything on the bottom set up and we're ready to go add the top pieces. The important part to understand is this is where we are seriesing everything and getting our final voltage. If I were to just take one of these banks and set the positive and negative post on top of them, and you'll see right now on a single bank, we're just at six volts. 6.8 volts. So once we add the middle piece here, that's gonna series them and give us our 12 volts. All right, so now let's add the uh, top piece right here. And this is a preference thing again, but I like to make sure that they're all facing the same way, top and bottom. Although you'll never see either one of them at the same time, but you know, it's just the way I do things. Now when I'm tightening this top down, I don't go full tight all the way. That way I have some adjustment in here. But after they're all in there, you can go back and retighten everything and make sure it's nice and stable. Now that we have the battery pretty much adjoined, we're left with two positives on this side, two negatives on this side. That is what makes our battery. So we have the two end pieces, one for negative, one for positive. I like to go ahead and just mark the positive post. You can do something a little bit better than this, but for right now, just so I know which one's which, I go ahead and mark it. So here it is, here is the completed bank. We've got the bus bars installed. The last thing to do is check the voltage and see where we're at. 13.6 volts resting. These can be charged up to 14.6 volts. So you have a little room to play. It's a perfect 12 volt replacement style battery as a secondary battery. Now, one of the nice features of a kit like this in particular is not only do you have nice big holes here for your lugs, and as you can see, like a big dummy, I put these on backwards. These both needed to be facing out, so I will switch that around. But you also get these little screws for setting up your BMS or accessory style wires. Really nice 
really easy to put a lug down on that and uh, I think it's a nice overall kit. That being said, if you've made your own bus bars, if you've used the little headway spacers slash holders, it's a very cheap and easy way to get into lithium and see what you think about it. You can definitely take it up a notch from here, but I think this is one of the most DIY friendly lithium banks kits you can build. Obviously, this is a small one. I have plans for it in the future. I want to compare it to a 100 amp hour AGM just to see how it compares. They're roughly the same price if you buy these used like I did. But yeah, you can definitely finish these out in several different ways. You can build a wood enclosure. You can use a acrylic enclosure. Matter of fact, there is a company, I'll leave a link in the description below called Coventry that sells glue together plexiglass enclosures built specifically for these bus bars. I think it's around 80 or $90. Really nice battery when you do it that way. With all that being said, I hope you did enjoy the video. I hope maybe you learned a little bit. Let me know about your DIY battery builds in the comments below. And I hope to see every single one of you on the next video. I appreciate each and every one of my Patreon supporters, but a special shout out goes to the $6 or more members, 2001 Monolithic, G Nava, Joaquin Juarez, El Fuego, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, Box Boy Audio Sound Solutions, Jesus Tires, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Scott Dielbeck, D. Stewart, Aaron Waltz, David Koslick, Scott McCord, Matthew Tolberg, Debo Bass, Corey D., and Trucker9000. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team, get exclusive Patreon-only content, behind-the-scenes stuff, and early access to videos. So if you're interested in any of this, check me out at patreon.com slash high5vega.